What's up YouTube? Welcome back Troll Looters. We're gonna go off the script today. I'm kind of caught up in the whole, I don't know if I want to keep doing the routine we did before. I, I want to get into something a little different. Today I have a Phantom Force mystery box. Phantom Force mystery box, I believe I bought this at Walmart. It's uh, Star Wars of course. And look for ultra rare autograph cards seated 1 in 20 boxes. Let's see, four factory seal packs, four collectible disc packs, and one fat pack each box includes. Read that backwards. All right, so this is what we got today. So the big wins here would be if we end up with something, if I can zoom in, like that, where there's a card that's been signed, and that would be awesome. So let's jump right in. Hope everyone's been having a wonderful day so far. Where'd my scissors go? Uh, go ahead and smash that subscribe button if you're interested in subscribing to the channel. I'll try to get some more videos going. Uh, I know it's been rough for me a week or so ago, um, but I'm trying to get back in the routine. I uh, know tomorrow is meant to be like a Yu-Gi-Oh day, but I decided to go ahead and get this out today because I felt like doing a video. And that being said, let's take a look at what this is. There is a lot of stuff in here. Okay, so, wow. so we have Galactic Connections, this trading game, and it's as it said, there are four of those, and then there are two Star Wars Series 2 trading cards, 16 cards per pack. Um, the Star Wars Journey to Stars, the Force Awakening trading card. Um, Series 5 of Star Wars Galaxy. And then two Clone Wars, the Clone Wars Rise of the Bounty Hunters. I don't really know a good order to do these in, because I'm not sure which of these would have the autograph piece in it. I'm going to assume that looks pretty special, but again, don't know. So let's open the discs first and see what's here. Series two discs, that out of the way. And we're coming up with something like Zoom. There you go, Anakin Skywalker. And general, general tag. Star Wars, these are pretty, pretty beefy discs. I don't know if you've, I'm sorry, I didn't say the name. Hera. Uh, but on the back of these discs, I mean, it doesn't tell you anything about the character, but kind of see what it is. It looks like a hollow fin. So I didn't realize they kind of did hollows, but that was cool. And then <laughs> I guess that's the rare version of the discs. Sand Troopers. Right, so I don't know much about the galactic connections in this disc of the game. 75 new characters and ships to collect. So I don't know how this game is played, but we'll learn something about it uh, when I do some research a little later. I don't know how rare these are, but we'll just give you, there's Poe. Fisk and Darth Sidious and a little R2 unit and one of the musicians from Jabba's Palace. Alright. This is series three, those were series two. Got a lot of junk on the side. Try to keep that out of the way. Uh, there we go. This guy's got a little, yeah, it's really hard to zoom on some of these, isn't it? There we go, Imperial Navy. Yavin four. And there's my buddy, Chew and Tobacco. 
this is pretty sweet. Padme. And one more of those. Another Series 3. That Series 3 looked kind of cool. Let me know what you think of these, if you know anything about this game or what's going on with this concept, because I'm not exactly sure what's cool, what's not, if this is something people play a lot of. Um, I mean, it looks just like a collectible, right? I don't see how you would get a game out of this, but more like a trading, trading card just for the artistic value. Anyway, so that was the discs. Take a second to move some of this around. Now we have the cards. So in no real particular order, I guess. Let's dive into the cards. We're going to do the Star Wars from the new film series two trading card, 16 per pack. And I'm just gonna pull both ends of this and we can do them all at one time. Um, let's see. Okay. Try to keep them right sides up. So we got Poe meets Loris Antique. Oops. Han and Chewie's Battle, First Order. BB-8 reunites with R2-D2. Powering the Star Killer weapon. Resistance pilot a game. Return to the resistance base. A narrow escape. Uncar plots offer. Finn confides in BB-8. A shocking surprise. Answering a distress call. Uh-oh, uh-oh, stop dropping things. Oh, 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 no. Sorry about that. Finn's 2187's plan. Finn 2187's plan. Then you got uh, Leia. The Resistance. That'd be so cool if that were signed. Just check the back. Collect all 18 sticker cards. So it is the sticker card. And I can't hold on to cards today. Here's C-3PO, Hero of the Resistance. And snow trooper uniform. And there you got Finn 287 guard over Poe. Guards over Poe. And the last card is a little RFID. Okay. That was interesting. Pretty cool artwork on some of those. We're gonna do clones next. Galaxy. So let's do the to the clones at the same time. All right. So this comes from obviously the Clone War kind of anime-ish cartoon thing. Rise of the Bounty Hunters, Brain Invaders, Night of the Undead, Dealing in Fire. Baris's transformation, creature of destruction, a dark fate. I'm trying to get my face out of that. It's very glossy. The fall of Trench, another grievous, another grievous battle. Jedi assault, freeing the farm. Upside down, Cad Bane. That's a pretty cool card. A Jedi Rescue. Slave One, everyone's favorite bounty hunter ship. Fett's Daring Assault. And that's it for those. Two more packs left. Got the Galaxy Series 5 coming up. Here, got a little Leia there on the back of these. It's a Leia versus the Empire, 
And we got some artwork. That is very cool. I love the look of that. Whoa. Very nice card. Very, very nice. Here we go. Very cool card there. Got some reflections to it. And what is this? That is very cool. And last daughter of all they're on it says present Sarlacc the Magnificent. So this is the Sarlacc Pit card at Java's Palace. Just to give you an idea of what it is on the back. There you go. So one more deck to get through. We got this one. This looks very old schoolish. Uh, very cardboard like Master of Evil and Jedi Unveiled Speeder. I guess I could check the back too. It says Raise Speeder, collect all eight blueprint cards. And this is for some reason turned around. There's Kylo Ren, Power of the First Order. Collect all 18 cards. Another Kylo Ren. And final, a fateful decision. Kind of give you an idea. They have a story summary on the back. Number 5 out of 10. You can read that. But there you go. That was in our mystery box today for Phantom Force mystery boxes. You can kind of just get an idea of what they are. What's the cost? I don't quite remember. It's been a while since I bought it. I want to say it was 15-ish dollars. Um, I'll have to take a look next time I'm there. Uh, but other than that, smash the sub button. If you want to sub, uh, give us a like, comment down below what you thought of it. Um, I'm going to do some just different things for a while. I don't know that I'll continue down the Monday, Wednesday, Friday path. Uh, I want to make, make it a little bit more exciting. So other than that, have a wonderful day.